Hey guys, Ivan here, and this is your top 8 in 212 division at Tampa Pro 2021. And how many competitors are here? <laughs> this is crazy, in Classic Physique there was more, I did not expect this many in 212. I mean, at Puerto Rico, bro, there was like 4? Was it 4? Yes, 4 competitors in 212, right now we have like 40, something like that. And this was your top 8, if you pay attention, there is no guy sister Nino. As a matter of fact, I don't think Guy is going to be cracking top 10. It's just father time. He's on. He's much better than he was at the Puerto Rico Pro. He's conditioned and hard and fuller and better overall. He is, he is in a good shape as much as his body can be, really. So you can see his body is kind of melting away, you know. It's just what happens with time. Some bodybuilders are genetically predisposed to holding on to the shape for a long time, like... Dexter was amazing at 50, Sean is 46 right now, Ronnie was great in his 40s, Phil is also not that young, uh, Kai, Kai is also I think 40, 45 or 46 and he's still holding on to a lot of muscle and great shape. Some guys, for example guys is Nino, uh, he's 39 I believe and he's starting to fade heavily. Also he had a lot of surgeries, injuries, so he can't probably train very hard and that's part of the reason, but yeah, as you can see, he, he's better now than he was Puerto Rico Pro, also this photo is edited, but you can see at the, in, in the comparison video that I'm gonna show you in a moment from the live stream, but he is improved, though he's not even cracking the top 10, he's in like third callout, I'm gonna show that to you in a moment. But now let's focus a little bit more on the top 8, or let's focus on this top 5 right here. And this was the top 5, so uh, an obvious winner, no doubt, hands down, is Ahmed Verdani. He definitely does look the best here, he is second from the left. On the far left we have uh, Jason Love, I think that's his name. He is a former men's physique competitor, actually classic physique competitor, and now in 212 he actually finally climbed up a few spots for his placing. John Jewett on the hard right, um, he's peeled as usual, he's always shredded. But he did so many shows this year and your body can only peak a certain number of times and this time around yes shredded pretty big but somehow flat and somehow washed out you know but he has a very good chance to actually be second here so let me show you the video of comparison so as you can see judges placed Ahmed Verdani in the middle and he is an obvious winner he looks the best here by far I also, I also had him win that uh, Chicago Pro that Keon won against him, but now I think he's a clear winner. Uh, Jason Love on his left, he's a little bit taller for 212, but he brought a great level of polish, and I think that's why he has a good chance of actually cracking the top two, but later in the comparisons, uh, the judges actually removed him and they switched places with uh, John Jewett. So does this mean that John is gonna be second? Well, later they actually pulled out Ahmed Verdani and they kept these guys, so John Jewett, uh, Jason Law and some of the other guys from the first call out, some of them they, uh, they actually pulled out. So I'm pretty confused what is going on here. And the thing is I don't know all the competitors, I don't really, I know a couple of them. This is 212, I don't really follow 212 that much. But I'm telling you what I'm seeing right here, and yeah, look at the, look at the, the chest of John Jewett. It's flat, it's washed out, the stomach as well. I think it's just from competing too many times. And I don't think he's gonna win this show, no. Even though he really tried to win a show this year, I don't think it's gonna happen. And, and I think Jason Law looks much better, look at him, he peaked properly. This is, when, this, this is what it looks like when a bodybuilder is full and dry and shredded and peaked nicely. So that's gonna do it for this video guys, tell me what do you think about the 212, who's gonna win it, how these guys look to you, why is there so many competitors to this show, and stay tuned, subscribe for more Tampa Pro coverage, tomorrow is the open division, and I will try and be first on YouTube to inform you on what happened, so thank you so much guys for watching, all the best, subscribe, and bye bye.